The many recent disasters around the world have taught authorities one important lesson. The question of whether we'll get some sort of social chaos will depend on what kind of job the officials are doing in terms of being reassuring, being a presence, saying, yes, we're having a big problem, but we're going to solve this together, is one big factor in this. It helps if everyone is on the same page. Where's Cross? He went out when you did. Councilman Cross, what is this solar storm we keep hearing about? Well, there's potentially a very devastating solar storm approaching the Earth, which could knock out the uh, electrical grid on a wide scale. And we'll let you know as soon as we have some more information. I'll, uh, you'll have to excuse me. I must get back to my meeting. Thanks. <laughs> Surges. Hey, Tara, it's me. Peter, there's surges all over. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you tell people to power down. You know, you have the opposite effect, and people start calling each other. Do me a favor, uh, call me as soon as you get more results from Ace. I gotta call the mayor. I'm here to reassure you that power crews are hard at work. But this solar storm has affected satellites, and that's why things aren't working the way we're used to. Our emergency teams are ready. Thank you. hit the ACE satellite, and it's 240 nanoteslas. It's three times bigger than anything we've measured before. And the field is southward. A southward magnetic field, 240 nanotesla, is going to be mind-boggling, leaving us fully exposed to the fury of the sun. A nanotesla is a measure of electromagnetic power. The biggest solar storm recorded in 1859 is estimated to have been around 200 nanoteslas. The one now moving toward Earth is unprecedented. All right, let's get to work. Get Peter on the phone, make sure he knows. You three to the second grid. Okay, go. First grid, go. Moving. Check the monitors, make sure everything's okay. People are really going to be scared. It's going to be beyond what we've seen before. So we can hope that we have prepared properly. Hope we're right. Tara, stick up. Tara. I can't get through to the mayor. We need to shut down. Peter, we cannot power down without the mayor's permission. We could be prosecuted. We have no choice. Just do it. Will one man's decision cost him his job? Shutting down. Or make him a hero? Find out when perfect disaster continues. A solar storm is seconds from Earth. Renegade power station takes steps that might save lives. The data is clear. The perfect solar storm is powerful and has the potential to cause damage to grids around the world. In Brooklyn, the initiative of one man could make a difference. With communications disrupted and time running out, few other power stations will be so prepared. Are you ready? Shut down in 15 seconds. Oh, Take out two and three. Shutting down. Blackout has left Brooklyn in darkness, but there are still lights on in the rest of the city. The CME is now only minutes away, and still no one can be sure how big the effect will be. Authorized a deliberate blackout. The 
the city of New York in Brooklyn to protect a region of the city from a potential destructive power surge. I am not blacking out the whole of New York because there actually isn't any way of knowing whether this grid system will be affected by it or not. Meanwhile, elsewhere in New York, people are gathered in the streets to watch what is promised to be the most spectacular light show known as an aurora ever seen. The aurora is a rare and beautiful sight, usually seen near the poles, but this one reaches right down toward the equator. It will be visible almost everywhere on the dark side of the earth, but its beauty is a cruel deception. The aurora is formed when billions and billions of highly charged particles smash into the oxygen and nitrogen atoms that make up the atmosphere. As the particles collide, they react and release a burst of light energy. In the upper atmosphere, the aurora appears red and green, closer to Earth, blue and purple. Combined, they create an undulating light show 100 miles high. to Europe as this spectacular display covers the night side of the earth. Sure is. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, I'll take a good look at it. It's probably the last little bit of electrical light we see for months. If we think of this as the beginning of something that's a global catastrophic event where we're going to be basically out of electricity for the foreseeable future, then what would have otherwise been a beautiful image of lights in the sky will become a sign of an ominous and dangerous and uncertain threat.